Good morning, LinkedIn. Welcome to Tuesday morning, a bright, sunny Tuesday morning here in New England. Um, another episode of Graphic Disarray at your disposal. And a couple of days ago, we had a World Mental Health Day. And I think this week, I want to talk about mental health a little bit because we all deal with our mental health on, you know, one level or another. Um, even if we're not, you know, working with an active diagnosis or something, um, you know, we, we all experience challenges. Um, for me personally, um, I've been fighting depression and anxiety pretty much my whole life. Um, I wasn't aware of it earlier in life, uh, not even later in life. It wasn't until maybe four or five years ago that I, I really had a diagnosis and, and became, you know, very aware of just how much this was affecting me. Um, it's tough to explain to people um, why you seem so down when your life is pretty good. Uh, you know, I got a, a great house. I got two beautiful children. My wife's amazing. Um, I have a good job. Two cars in a garage. What do I have to be sad about? If only we're that easy, right? Um, that's the most mind-boggling thing about it is uh, with depression. It's not that you had something happen that made you sad. I mean, if something happens that makes you sad, you're going to feel it a whole lot more. But it's chemical imbalance in your brain that brings you down. And regardless of how things are going in your life, you could be rock bot. So that's a layman's understanding of it for someone who experiences it. And I also fight with anxiety. Um, you know, on a given day, if a, a regular person uh, without, you know, an anxiety issue, I should say. Um, if they're at like a, on a scale of one to 10, if they're at like a one or two, I'm at like an eight. And on a hard day, if they're at like an eight, when I'm at like a 15 and, um, that can be pretty disruptive to your life when, um, you know, something that isn't quite that big a deal really, really just gets your blood pressure up and, and, and you know, becomes all consuming and uh, you just can't let it go. Um, and what I can't forget to talk about when we're talking about mental health is stigma, um, especially with, with men, because there is this toxically masculine thing out there uh, with some people that think they can't talk about mental health because they're a guy and they gotta be tough. Oh, I'm not gonna talk about my feelings. What do you think I am? Blah. Guys, come on. Let's just drop that, okay? That's enough. Um, I used to have the same problem talking about it. I used to bottle it up and you know, wait for it to explode in an inappropriate way during Thanksgiving dinner or something. You know, I call it the Irish way of dealing with your feelings is you just suck them in and just hold them, hold them, hold them, hold them, hold them until you just break. And uh, that's not good for anybody. So um, let's, let's knock the stigma off, not just for men, but for everybody. Talk, talk about it. Talk to somebody ask for help, see a doctor. It's the only way it's ever going to get any better. And it can get better. It's not a life sentence. You know, I found over the past five years, I've been able to turn a, a lot of success in feeling more under control, feeling happier, feeling less anxious. Um, not a life sentence. You just got to try. But, you know, when you're at your job 
and things aren't going great for you, it's it's really easy for that to just weigh you down in a big way. Because, I mean, our job is more than just a job. You know, for a lot of us, it's part of our identity. Um, I know it is for me. Um, I take a lot of pride in the fact that I'm good at what I do. Um, I've got 25 years of knowledge in, in this business that I want to help people solve their issues with, you know, what they've got to do graphics wise, display wise. I mean, I get, I get a rush out of that. As sick as that sounds, um, it's what I do. Plus I get to step back at the end of the day and look at the job and say, man, that looks great. And uh, I take it pretty seriously, you know? But when things aren't going well, I take it pretty hard. I mean, I'll, I'll be perfectly transparent with you. Right now, um, I'm eight weeks in at my current employer and I'm struggling. I am struggling to turn over new business, new projects. Um, I'm struggling to get people in contact you know, pandemic, whatever, but I'm struggling. I'm having a hard time putting my numbers up and I got to turn it around. And that anxiety of that weighs on me in a big way. Now I'm dealing with it better than I used to, but I still have these moments where I'm in a just full blown panic. And I've had panic attacks. I mean, if anybody's ever had a panic attack, um, you can relate to this. It feels like you're going to die. Um, and they're not always a direct result of an event. I mean, the first time I had one, I was, I couldn't have been more relaxed. I was at a friend's house. We were playing cards. It was funny. You know, we were having a good time. Cards Against Humanity. And, uh, out of nowhere, I just got this feeling in my chest, like there was a butterfly in the center of my chest, just flapping its little wings. And then it felt like a sledgehammer hit me. I swore I was having a heart attack. We called 911, the paramedics came, they had me on oxygen. Nothing wrong with you, sir. And my first reaction was, well, I, I beg to differ. Um, <laughs> you didn't feel what I just felt. My hands went numb from the elbows down. I was numb. It was it was insane. I got really hot. Um, I believe the word is um, diaphoretic. And my skin became ice cold. I mean, it was crazy. But it took three more times of that happening, you know, going to the ER to figure out it's a panic attack. And just the other night, my poor little 10-year-old boy had one too. So, I'm going to work on trying to turn my situation around here at my job. I'm going to use that anxiety and, uh, you know, fuel myself to work harder and turn this thing around. Because I have to. I owe it to my family. I owe it to my employer. I owe it to everybody. So that's me what about you any me mental health challenges you can tell me it's okay um i just spilled my guts here so you know break the stigma scream from the rooftops because you know what you're not alone and it's okay we can get help we can get better so i want to hear about it from you down in the comments below what do you struggle with? What weighs on you? Think you have anxiety issues? Depression issues? Maybe something I said just hit a nerve and you're thinking, maybe I do. Ask for help. It can get better. So until next Tuesday, keep your head down, keep your feet on the ground, and remember you're not running in this rat race alone. Have a good week, everybody.